Okay, so I thought tonight's episode of Supergirl was fantastic. I love the trailer for The Last Son of Krypton, and let's watch it together right now. One, two, three. Are you ready to become the man who saves the world from an alien menace? They want to kill all of us. All of us. We salvaged you, modified you, and resurrected you. Own your power. Supergirl, all new next Monday at 8, 7 central on The CW. So as I said, I thought tonight's episode of Supergirl was fantastic. I love the introduction of Cadmus, and I cannot wait to see the Cadmus storyline play out. Metallo's a really interesting villain with Superman because he's powerful. That whole chunk of kryptonite in his chest is essentially able to block Superman from doing anything. And I'm really curious if Metallo is just going to be a one-off villain or if he's going to last for a couple more episodes. Now, Superman himself has only been cast, I believe, for the premiere episode and for the second. So I think Metallo is going to go in this episode, which is okay because we're going to get more Cadmus villains, and I'm so looking forward to that. Metal is just a really cool villain who I think is essentially kind of underrated, so I'm really interested to see what the CW is going to be doing with him. I am so excited from this trailer just because of how it was cut, essentially when they're talking about modifying Metallo, and then when it jumps to Cat Grant saying, oh, your power, talking about Kat, uh, Kara, who has now become a reporter. Though I'd say I don't know how much power a reporter has at CatCo, but Kara is um, very... Uh, powerful at Catco in and of itself just with her sway on Cat Grant. So I'm really curious to see what will be happening in Kara's day-to-day -day life in the next episode. The visuals of this trailer are so fantastic and the DCEU, as I said, has to watch out for the DC Television Universe because this trailer has me more excited for next week's episode of Supergirl than the trailer for Batman v Superman that came out last July. I just love the DC Television Universe. I just think the acting, the visuals are so amazing and I cannot wait to see Essentially, the the the, uh, the superheroes go up against Metallo. Superman and Supergirl are two of my favorite superheroes ever. I think Superman has been perfectly cast in this season, and I just love his interactions with Kara. And you know, you know, they're not characters that are known to, or they. I feel like a lot of people visualize them as being these perfect beacons, but they're very flawed in my opinion. And to see them, you know, go up against a villain that is going to cause them pain and destruction is going to be awesome. Like, I think just everything that's going to be going on with them will be really, really cool. And I really hope that they do solve the um, Martian Manhunter and Superman animosity. Hopefully he'll come in to stop Metallo at some point. I think that would actually be a really cool way if, like, Kara and Superman are essentially on their knees and then the Manhunter comes in and saves their lives. Now, the only thing about the trailer that I didn't give away, but that's okay, is anything about mon -El, but maybe mon -El will start to come into play around episode three after Tyler Hetchlin leaves. So anyway, I'm so excited. Perfectly cut so, so awesome. And I love the fact that we're getting Metallo because he's just a, a relatively underrated villain. He's popular, I feel, but he doesn't, you know, he's not, in the, he's not in the DCEU. So I'm really curious to see what the television universe is going to be doing with him. And I'm really curious what you guys have to say about Metallo. What do you think is going to be going on with Kara's personal life? And um, what do you have to say overall in general about the trailer? So thank you so much for tuning in to my review of the trailer. I hope you're all excited for next week's episode because it's going to be fantastic. And uh, we'll talk about Supergirl uh, in the comments below. I look forward to look forwarding. Uh, I look forward to continuing the discussion down there. All right, guys. Bye.